What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you some basics. I'm going to show you one basic step that I've been teaching realtors, um, that I've been teaching small business owners for the past several years. Um, this is a step that, that I implemented into, into the five-step blueprint, which is what I teach. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll also link down below um, a simple uh, uh, my ebook. So in 2018, I, I wrote a basic ebook, a simple ebook explaining these five steps, right? And these five steps came as a result of seeing what thousands and thousands of real estate agents here on Facebook specifically, um, what thousands of them, what what thousands of their pages of their personal profiles um, were missing, and what tens of thousands of their actual business pages. Um, information that was missing as well. It's a result. I came up with this first step um, as a result of seeing thousands of pages, right? What everyone's profile looked like, what, what their intro looked like, and the fact that they were missing these super important links, these super basic links when it comes to social media branding in 2023 and beyond. These are, these are, th th this is something so simple. You guys, once I show it to you, you're going to be like, holy crap, that's so simple. And then you're going to be like, dude, that was basic. And I'm telling you right now, once I show this to you and I'm, and we're going to go behind the scenes, I'm going to show you other accounts. I'm going to show you other friends of mine on Facebook. Um, I'm going to show you their intro. This is all about basic branding, you guys. So if you're trying to build your business on social media, if you're a realtor, if you're a small business owner, if you're trying to build something over here, knock out step one, go out there and get all your links in order, right? Because once I show this to you, it's going to be so simple. And you're going to be like, dude, I didn't even think about that. So watch, once I go into, in, once, I, once I show you, I'm guaranteeing you right now, I'm calling it right now, I'm calling it right now. And, 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 and some of you guys that are watching this are my clients, so you guys are actually the 0.00001% that actually completed it, but I'm going to just say 99. Once I show this to you, I'll, I'll say 99.9. 99. Once I show this to you, 99.999% of every single one of you guys that are watching this video right now. I guarantee it, 99.999% of you guys miss this step. That's why I thought, I'm like, dude, let me just make a video because shout out to my, my newest client, Tina, crushing it, top realtor for the past 18 years in the metro Atlanta area. Um, super blessed and fortunate to be working with her now. She's my newest, newest client, and we just knocked out this first step. Again, this is what I call step one when it comes to basic social media branding and 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 and, and credibility, right? Social proof. This is what you guys want to be doing. Okay. So let me show you right now. Um, let me go into, let me go, let me go to my Facebook and, and let me just give you some context of, of really where this came from. It came from my personal Facebook friend, friend list. When I started, when I started, when I, when I, cause my whole background, I've been in marketing forever and a day, you guys, I've been, I've been in marketing forever. Right. But it, but it was in, it was in, it was in 2010 when I got into mortgages. So some of you guys know my story. Some of you, some of you may not, but, but I spent six years in the mortgage industry from 2010 to 2016 loan originator licensed for the state of California, licensed for the state of, of, of Washington, um, the, the Washington state, Right. Licensed in these two states, crushing it from 2010 to 2016 in mortgages. That's not, that's how I know you know the real estate side for, fairly well because I did loans for six years. Um, and so in 2016, when I leave mortgages, my whole idea was to start consulting real estate agents on social media marketing because I knew for a fact that most of them didn't know really much about social media because at that time, 2015, 2016, social media was really starting to scale. It, it, where we're at today, 2023, with, with social media and AI and, 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 and YouTube, where we're at today in 2023 is very different than where we were at in this industry in 2015, in 2016 in 2017, 2017, right? The landscape was a little different. So in 2016, I knew that the majority of, of realtors, the, mo the majority of small business owners, I knew that they didn't really have their social media part down. So if I could start teaching them certain things, uh, maybe I could build a business. That was in 2016 when I had that thought, right? So what I did, what I did is I leave mortgages and I jump into consulting full-time not knowing what the hell I was going to really consult on. I just knew social media. Let me start teaching people marketing over here. Um, because one thing, again, I knew that the majority of them were not were not really savvy and weren't really up to par or really weren't really up up on game when it came to social media. I knew most realtors, most small business owners didn't even, didn't even know didn't even know that part. But then also I knew because you got to know the market, right? You got to know your audience. You got to know who you're trying to who you're trying to serve. 
And in this case, I just felt like I can serve realtors because they come from mortgages. And then also I knew that the majority of them, any of them that were advertising, were still spending an arm and a leg offline. I knew that that any any successful realtor out there, and in this case, again, realtors, but this applies to any small business. But I just knew that most realtors, if they did have any type of advertising budget, they were still spending money on expensive Zillow leads. They were still trying to put out direct mail, expensive direct mail campa uh, campaign pa uh, pieces. They were still trying to put their face on a billboard or on a bus bench or just these basic offline activities marketing that we that we call marketing that are expensive. I knew that any of them were, 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 were doing that, right? So I jump in and start teaching realtors all this stuff full time in 2016. And here's what I really found out. Sorry about that, you guys. I freaking had an intruder. Um a visitor, unexpected visitor, um, but but the show must go on. Here's what I was saying, you guys. Here's what I was saying. When I left mortgages in 2016, I start consulting realtors, right? But my strategy to 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 get in touch with you guys was a little different, unique, different. It's 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 how I did it. It and and to this day, I haven't found anybody else who really have done it has done it this way and really built a, a prospecting list or an audience. My whole thing was to come over here to my personal profile. And the reason why I'm telling you this part, you guys, is to give you context of where this step came from. And it's what I've been teaching realtors and small business owners for the, for the past five years now, um, this basic step one. But it's such a game changer to your profile. It's such a game changer to, to, your, to your credibility over here. That's why I wanted to share it with you guys. This is what I teach. Um, but, 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 here's, but I'm giving you this context to let you know where it really came from. It came from the thousands of friends that I started following. So in 2016, what I did personally is I came over here to my personal Facebook page. And I've been on Facebook forever and a day. But it was in 2016 when I have this idea of consulting you guys, right? Realtors, um, small business owners. But again, let's keep it straight on realtor in this case. It was when it was in 2016 when I had that idea. So, so my strategy to get in touch with you guys was to do it through here. On Facebook, on your personal profile, you only get 5,000 friends, right? You only get 5,000. In 2016, I came over here and I literally removed everyone. I removed my mother, my brother, my cousins, my best friends from high school, my in-laws, my um, aunts and uncles, my freaking neighbor, my boys from freaking junior high. I removed all of my all all of my all of my um past coworkers. Literally everyone that I actually know, friends and family, right? Because when you go to your personal Facebook page, you guys, here's the unique thing about Facebook. When you go to your personal Facebook page, it's only a handful of the people that you actually know. Like, keep it real. Your uncles, your aunts, your friends, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your in-laws, your cousins, whatever. Your coworkers, people in the office, your clients. It's literally only a handful. Some of you guys, most of you guys that are watching this on Facebook, you guys have thousands of friends over here, but it's only about 200 if that, that you actually know, people that you went to school with, right? Same thing for all of us. So over here, it was only a couple hundred. I was, I've been in San Diego forever. I know everyone and their mother, right? So I had a lot of friends here that, that, that I actually, you know, broke bread with, went to school with, go to church with, right? People that you know in your neighborhood, right? Because you've been there forever. But again, what I'm saying at the end of the day, it's only a couple hundred. It's only a couple hundred. In 2016, I removed all of them because my strategy was to fill up the 5,000 with nothing but realtors. That was my strategy. Sent my mom a message. Hey, mom, I'm taking you off of my Facebook. I'm going to put you on my Instagram because my strategy here is to fill up with, is to build a new business. This was 2016 when I was doing all this, was to build a new business and fill up with agents, fill up my 5,000. Hey, bro, hey, cousin, hey, uncle, hey, aunt. That's what I did, right? That's what I did. But here's where, it's, where it led me to. As I started requesting thousands of agents, I started going to the news feed, and that's all I started seeing was what agents were posting, right? Awesome verse, awesome Bible verse right here, right? Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff like that. But then I would see real estate related stuff. That's where it started coming from. So as I started following you guys, thousands and thousands of realtors, by 2018, that's when I wrote the book. So click the link below. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download a free copy. In 2018, this started in 2016, but it was in 2018 when I when I when I found the common denominator. When the light bulb went on, and I'm like, dude, I see a pattern. I see the fact that this page is missing that. And 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 I've already seen hundreds at this point. I've already seen a few thousand at this point and everyone's page looks the same. I started going to, I started going to business pages and everyone has 200 likes. 
I started looking at the intro on different pages and everyone's missing their links. And that's what I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna show you a, a, a one that's 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 um complete and I'm gonna show you a profile that that's incomplete. 99.99% of you guys missed this basic step. And so this is where it came from, you guys. It started, it came from these five steps that I started teaching. Yo, 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 yo. These five steps that I started teaching were literally steps that I started getting from seeing everyone's profile, seeing their profile, seeing their business page. That's where this came from. Okay, so this is step one. This is step one. As I started seeing and just randomly connecting with random friends, Nancy, as I started connecting with, with, with random friends, Jennifer, and again, these are my 5,000 friends. I would go to someone's page, a person, I'm going to show you a page that's not my client. Like this page, this person's not, not my client right here, right? I would start to go to their page. This was 2016, 2017, 2018. I write this book. This is step one, because at that point in 2018, when you're following thousands and thousands of pages and every single one of them has the same job, you really start to see the transparency. Here's step one, the intro. As I go to Stacy's personal profile and I look at her intro, that's what I started seeing. And I've seen this to this day, 2023, the making of this video. I started seeing that in 2016. Wrote a book about it in 2018 called The Five-Step Blueprint. That's step one, the intro. So when you guys are, so so again, whether you're watching this on Facebook, whether you're watching on YouTube, go to your personal profile right now and does yours look like that? You might have your business page. You might have your IG. You might have a .com, but that's as far as it goes, right? It either looks like that or, or, or it might have a couple links, a .com, if that but this right here, you guys, the way this looks specifically, shout out to Stacy. Shout out to Stacy. But but this is our online credibility. This is our online social proof. Stacy, here's here's an interesting fact, and here's the truth. Stacy could be a top producer. She could be in the industry for 25 years. All this success and 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 a lot of that's offline dealing with her local market. She could be in her, she could be farming her area for the past 15 years, right? And she crushes it, top one percent. But on social media, as we have thousands of people that we start to get connected with, no one knows you. So shout out to Stacy, but I don't know her. I don't know if she's majorly successful. All I'm seeing is this intro, and this hinders our credibility. This right here, this because we're in business, this intro needs an update. It needs a facelift. There needs to be more information here and not crazy information. What I'm referring to, what I'm going to show you, because I'm going to show you Tina. Shout out to my client, Tina. Yo, yo, yo. Shout out to my client, Tina, because I'm going to show you her profile. I'm going to show you her intro. And this is what I'm recommending all you guys do to your, to your pages. And all this is going to do is just, again, add credibility. Add social proof and help you build your platforms, help help get more exposure to these other links that should be here listed in the intro. So again, rather than boring you to death and showing you 10 other Stacys, because I'm telling you, everyone's profile looks the same. So no matter if you're seeing this on Facebook or seen on YouTube, go to your profile. Tell me if your intro don't look like that. This is the game changer. Here's the game changer. So 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 rather than rather than than linking everybody to your to your to your broker's page, that's what I see a lot as well. You might have your business page there and, and you're you're a little bit more up on it. But but nine out of ten, 10 of you guys, you guys are linking all of your traffic. So th this is two point thousand people that are following Stacy, right? You're linking all of that traffic to your broker's page. And because most people don't know the difference between broker and agent, most people think that this is your page. So here's what's going on. The majority, God only knows how many of these people are actually following Keller Williams page, thinking they're supporting you, right? Majority of these people, let's just say they're not in the industry. They're not title. They're not escrow officers. They're not freaking lenders. They're not appraisers. They're no one. They're random people that are just following us, right? Your, your, your corporate people, your, your working class people, right? Majority of them don't know that this is not your page. So God only knows how many people you've actually sent to that page. I'll just unlike it now. But I, but God only knows, right? God only knows how many how many of your friends are following that page. So you don't want your business. You don't need your broker's page there at all. Again, I'm going to show you Tina's, and it's a huge difference. And then she has studied. She has lives. She has pronounced, right? This is not necessary. The pronounce is not necessary. You can leave lives. That's not really necessary. I'm going to show you what I'm recommending that you that you do to your profile, Stacy. So whether you're Stacy, John, Adam, Louie, freaking Baton, whoever the hell, 
again, shout out to all you guys that are watching this. Do this to your intro right away. Okay, do this to your intro right away. Rather than this blank, you know, taking it there, here's, I'm going to show you Tina's. Let me go to Tina's. Let me refresh this page. Shout out to my client, Tina. If you guys are in the Atlanta area doing business, doing real estate, reach out to Tina. Tina is freaking, she's freaking a rock star. This is her intro. That's her intro. So, so tell me if there's a difference, right? Shout out to Stacy. And here's the crazy part. Stacy, she could be the top producer. She could be the one 27 years in the business, crushing it, multi, multi, multi millionaire broker even, right? She could be that person. But the moment I come to her, her, the moment I connect with her on Facebook and I see the intro, the intro is the first impression, right? That's why it's so important. It sticks out. It's my business. It's like my little business card. That's why the intro is so important. So I go there and I see that versus going to Tina's page. Shout out to Tina. On the flip side, Tina could be seven months in the business. She could be seven months. Obviously, it says 18 years right here, but you know what I'm saying. She could be seven months in the business, and that's what her intro looks like. You know what I mean? So, so just the credibility, you guys, the added, the added just overall perception that that gives versus seeing a profile like 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 this one it's night and day right it's night and day so you want to do that to your to your accounts you guys you want to go out there and, and and customize your links even if you're not on these platforms it doesn't matter i don't know one damn thing about pinterest but if you come over here to my intro you'll see my pinterest link i don't know one damn thing about twitter shout out to elon musk but i don't know one i don't i don't tweet right? I'm an ad guy. I'm just running Facebook ads and I'm building a YouTube channel. That's it. Those are the two things that pay me. These other platforms don't pay me. So until they pay me to post over there, then I'll probably go, go and post over there. But, 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 but marketing is, is what you guys really want to focus in on. And this is what I call just basic social media marketing. This is basic social media branding. This is just securing your link and making sure everything is in order. It's not about you posting on all these platforms. It's all about you just securing that name. So you're going to get it listed on the personal profile. You guys, you're going to get it listed on the business page. So look, this is her, her business page. So now as I come to the intro over here, everything is matching. And, and, and she's in the process of, of updating this email as well. But this is this is this this is what we all did. This, we did all these other platforms today. So it's not about posting on all these platforms. It's all about securing the name, you guys. Secure that name, whatever that one name is you're trying to brand. Um, step it up and get everything listed. And 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 just bring your credibility to the next level on social media, you guys. So that's that's what I call step one in the five step blueprint, you guys. Um, I'll link a simple ebook that I that I wrote back in 2018 that explains this step, explains step two, explains step three, four, and five. Um, download that ebook, and if you want to jump on a call where I can give you all of these freaking strategies, we can do a Zoom call. We'll make it a training video. We can turn it into a YouTube video. I'll shout out your business and 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 really really you know, bring you up, up you, um, and, and, and shout you out on, on, on my channel and let's get you some exposure. Like let's do an interview. Let's do a podcast. Let's do a strategy call. Let me show you how basic this stuff can, can be in this, in this case with step one is just about the linking It's just about the branding and, 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 and giving a facelift to that intro, right? Linking everything to, to your business page, not your brokers. So if this is something you want to, you want to talk about, you guys, if you're into social media marketing, if you're into targeting, if you're a local business owner, that's where I can really add value. If you're trying to farm a few zip codes, right? Because that's another thing that's going on. I don't need you post or no, no, not, not need. That's not the right word. I don't recommend you post on all these platforms all the time. Like you're probably getting the advice, right? Like you're, like you're probably getting that type of coaching from a broker or, or even a coach. You got to be omnipresent, post, 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 post into your freaking eyeballs fall out. No, dude, I don't recommend that at all. If, if you're a local business, if you're a local realtor. So if you're that local business owner, that local realtor that says, David, you know what? I'm posting all over the damn place, but I'm not getting any leads from it. I'm posting all over the damn place. And what ends up happening, David, is the freaking 2.2 thousand people don't even live in my state. If that's you, let's chat. If that's you, let's chat. I'd love to show you how to target your area. If you're the type of person that says, you know what, David, I'm posting. And yes, all these people that are following me are across the country. None of them are leads. None of them are potential clients at all. 
I don't want to target them anymore. I'd rather learn how to target my local area. I'd rather take over my farm. These three zip codes right here, David, I want to brand the hell out of myself in all these three zip codes. How do I do that? How can I take the same post and run my listing, run my open house and, and or, or just offer value and give away a free seller guide or give away a free buyer guide? How can I add value and only talk to my local area? If that's you, let's chat, you guys. Let's let's chat. That, that's a simple Facebook ad. That's an Instagram ad. I truly believe 2023 and beyond, it's not about social media marketing. It's about dominating your local area. So whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it, whether it's um whether it's LinkedIn, TikTok, whatever, pick your favorite platform and learn how to run an ad. If you're trying to build a local area, that's what I'd love to talk to you about, you guys. So so if that's you. If that's you, click on the link, download the book first, download the book, and then you'll, 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 you'll have the opportunity to schedule a call. Um, start with the book, maybe, maybe, maybe read through, the, through these five steps. This, these are the five steps that, that, that it takes to implement on social media and to build a crazy brand. Like, unlike anything else, you got to implement these five steps, no matter if it's working with me or working with somebody else, you got to implement these five steps. I really, truly believe you'll get a lot of value from just, just the book alone. So click the link, download the book and let's chat soon. You guys, I'll see you in the next video over and out update your links. This is what I call step one. Talk to you soon.